Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, which means that I love love, but I also love playing video games. And we're back in Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, last episode, Lazelle pretty much said to me, if you don't go to the Gith Yankee crash, then I'm out of here. So that scared me. Uh, I don't want her to leave. So we're back here at the Gith Yankee crash. Um, hopefully I can find my way into the crash. I was very worried about this because I couldn't get through the front door, which probably shouldn't have surprised me. Um, last time we were here, though, I did notice that there were hostiles inside this building here. Um, I did a little bit of research online, and apparently there's a little window that we can get through, and this looks like the place. So <laughs> let's see if this will actually do it. No traps, please. <clears throat> This is not possible. Oh my gosh. Sleeping. Fire wine belly. Drunk on fire wine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Are they all drunk? Whoa. Slurp, gulp. So that guy's sleeping, so I could take him out easily. What about these guys, though? Oh, no, look, they're sleeping. Oh, they've only got, like, nine health, etc. Oh, this is not bad. Okay, fine. Because I'm assuming if I don't take them out, then, you know, we'll have to deal with them later. So where is my boy Astarian? Careful, I might. Can you just attack this guy? Oh, hang on. What if we... Can we shut this door first? Shut this door. Let's see here. I don't know if that helps at all. Oh, baby. Hmm. wonder if I should try to sneak in with him. My god, that's some hectic drinking that people are doing. <laughs> um, you know, I could just go in with the Starion because he's just going to kill them all each time, possibly. Um, why don't I position Smoxy? Wait, let's break group. Smoxy, position yourself. Never wanted the easy path. Maybe like up on top here. Can I jump up here? Let's see, I might fail a stealth check here. <laughs> okay, just hide there, Smoxy. With every breath, a purpose. Lazel. You're gonna just, I don't know exactly. <laughs> Lisa, I'll just come up to the stairs there. I have to survive this. Shadowheart, if you could like jump up to where Smox is too, that would be great. then Let's have some fun. I guess a Starian you could just be wherever bro you're just gonna take these guys out let's see the cobalt reeks of liquor this is no time to go playing with fire are we in combat or not oh <laughs> There it goes, just a little bit delayed. All right, so we've got fire wine barrels everywhere here. Um, <clears throat> which is a tad worrying. Let's just get someone I've got advantage on you. Spill some blood. 
beautiful. Jeez. Astarian, what have I got on you? I forgot. Slicing short sword and a Githyanki short sword. Mate. Freaking insane, dude. Okay. Um. Let's dash. And we'll. Can we go up the ladder? Let's go. We can. Actually, I don't know why I wanted to go there. It doesn't matter. Okay, Lazel. Oh, somebody leveled up. I think. Um, let's go up here because we'll... Take out this guy and then Astarian can... We can move together. Move this way, we can do maybe an action surge. Oh shit, we're all leveling up, that's sick. All right, get close to this guy. May as well shoot that guy. Beautiful. Nice. Nothing will stand in my way. <laughs> Just a quick little slice. <laughs> Can't slow down. I love the ambient sounds in here. The sounds of the um the bells. A crit miss, Shadowheart, mate, so disappointing. Did you take any damage, bro? No. <laughs> Sorry. That's alright, we'll shoot you next round. Blimey. Oh, you missed on that guy? Never mind. Time for a cuddle. What's that up there? Cobalt Scout, where are you? You must be in another room. With finesse. With finesse, with a bit of panache. Time to push my luck again. <laughs> oh jeez, a crit. Actually, that was a bit more dramatic than I thought. Oh, I didn't know you got. We were down here. Wait a second. I could have blown up that fire wine barrel. Actually, maybe I'll do that next turn. <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh no, miss! Come on, mate. Winery records. Donation of herbs, five bottles. Okay. Um. Open this cage, you oh my god, I cannot believe how rude that fairy is. <laughs> I actually love it. You munting asshole, wow. Oh, we've leveled up. 
Hang on. Let's do this quickly. Oh, I've got another tadpole. Shield of Thrills. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting the target 10 temporary hit points. Until long rest. Ooh. Let's go that one. Have to keep going. Cute. I guess we're jumping. Can everyone jump? Should be able to. Oh, even a Starion can. Nice. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. The crush must be nested in that temple. Our cure is close. I don't know. Survival. Seriously? No one can see whatever's here? That's curious. Right, who can deal a bit more damage? This <laughs> will be done. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Dimension door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. The ally cannot be larger than medium. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Don't give up now. How much farther can? Uh oh. It sounds like maybe they are. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh god. Imagine being this talented. Alright, let's go see who's crying. God, why am I nervous? What's that? Ramishka? Looks like a little cat. It is a cat. Looks like an ambush. Oh, you reckon, Shadowheart? Okay, they can all see us. <laughs> well, let's stand in the middle then. They didn't care for with any magic. Spells set them off. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> no Make spells then. Ways. Got it. Ah, right. <laughs> what about jumping? Can we jump? Can we jump, Smoxy? Is that okay? In my best interest. Alrighty, let's see if we can do some kind of cleave action on these guys. No, we can't. Must take a short rest. Oh. <laughs> what about sweeping action? Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Well, that was not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Not going to lie, but that's fine. Oh, that was good though. A Grimishka tail. What does that do? Probably. Oh, it's part of alchemy. Cool. Okay, well, we're ready to go for the next one. Survival is all that matters. Smucks, uh, why don't you just do some kind of like pew pew action? Kill. I guess that's it. <laughs> Oh god, they're surrounding me. 
<laughs> okay, Astarian. Too bad. Yeah, I really wish like he had like some kind of fan of daggers or something, you know? Let's try this synaptic power thing because honestly, like, I <laughs> just feel like I've not used it at all. Um, can we get next to this guy? Nice. We'll put us in good stead for the next round. Next to Smoxy. My faith will protect me. Does that count as a spell? I don't know, let's see. Than it's worth. Oh, okay, right. So, <laughs> shit. Are they gonna blow? Oh no. What's this? <laughs> the Mishka is reacting to nearby magic has become unstable. At the start of its turn, it will trigger a random effect. Oh, sugar. Okay. Oh, they're vampirous, are they? Or vampiric. I don't know what, what which word to use there. <gasps> They're surrounding us. Maybe I need to jump over here with Lazel. Um. Instead of, yeah, because if they're all standing together, where are they? If they're all standing together, it'll be way better if I jump here with Lazel. Maybe? I reckon. Let's try it. I know it's gonna prov do the provoke thing. Oh, now I've got to do it again? Come on, just go where I said I wanted to go, please. Can I get three? Yet? Yeah. Can I get four? No, no, no. Three is fine. I feel like that was good. Um, should we go again on these two? Let's go. Yeah, not bad. Nothing important is ever easy. What do you want to do, Smoxy? Maybe. Um, Hit that one. I guess. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, lesson learned. A cantrip is definitely a spell. <laughs> mm? Mate, freaking Astarian's just like absolutely owning everybody. Are they undead? No. Nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, so come closer to the Githyanki with the sweeping attack. She's almost dead though, so. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. We're healing. Might help. No, no, let's just get this guy. Oh no, I've got no more. <laughs> We've got no more sweeping attacks. That's cool. It won't take long. There we go.
Alright, Astarian, which one do you want to take out? Let's get this one. Oh god, the effects are awesome. Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to get over it, but I freaking love this character. Okay. Oh, what's that scroll of Everd's black tentacles? Always room for more. Oh. Ooh. Okay. The easy path. So who was crying in here? Oh, let's shot rest. Welcome rest. Potion of animal speaking recipe. Gremlish nest? Flaming sphere. Gate, where's the key? Not that we need one. Should be easy. Thirty-three, nice one, dude. Elixir of narcotic resistance. For my sins, it is. Uh, it only just occurred to me that I had locked. Oh, sorry, lacked in my record keeping of late. I find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in such an obvious open space to begin with. Alas, his light singes away the mistakes of the past, leading to a more uh, fortuitous dawn indeed. To keep fr from the lustful sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapel will become a great monastery and the blood shall be secreted away. The blood? What blood? The relic? Came, it became far too unstable to carry back to Hap. Thus we fashion a simple chapel around ourselves here and have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as a most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. Unbreakable radiance. Reducing the Sharon Horde to dust. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we could have got in that way too. Is there something else out here? Oh, I can't get there? What if I jump? Oh, cool so I could have got up here you're joking I could have just got freaking up here from the, <laughs> the fucking ancient sigil that's funny all right cool well now we know that very good I feel like uh as with all first playthroughs <laughs> this playthrough is like things I can know for next time I come into Baldur's Gate <laughs> Tell you what, having a lock picker on the team is incredibly useful. <laughs> Who knew? I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Journal of a novice monk. 
Oh, scroll of fly. I wonder if Astarian should learn that. So he can like No, he's got enough No, he's got a lot of um ways to get out of there. So maybe I'll send it to You know what? My bud's gonna learn it. Oh, I can't learn it. Oh, damn. Well, send it to Gail, I guess. Well, that sucks. At the ready. Worth a try. glass window old key dawn master for said dawn master for said seems simple enough public guest book in which there are multiple handwritten entries from pilgrims who visited over the years my home is a dark is as dark as my spirit i pray that you will bring me light and you will Kaithon pilgrimage. Good to see your statue again, my lord. Never been here before in person. The stained glass windows are astonishing. We'll definitely recommend to others. As a blacksmith, what an honor it is to see the four ceremonial weapons of the Dawn Masters themselves. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Ceremonial longsword? Wait, oh, don't tell me we've got to like put those, uh, put some weapons here or something, maybe. Dawn Master, welcome, glory. Now, oh, here we go. The weapon stopped glowing. How odd. Where'd it go? Ceremonial longsword. Okay. Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Stockhold. I'm supposed to go out the window here or something, am I? Possibly. I don't. Uh, I'm worried about touching this stained glass window. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. Examine the image marked Dawn Master Seed. Look at the picture of Dawn Master Stockhold. Inspect the broken stained glass window. Look at the Dawn Master Welcome Glory. Let's look at the broken one. Dawn Master Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Hmm. Okay. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Okay. So who had the sword? It was this one over here, just in case that's important later. Dawn Master Welkin Glory. Dawn Master Welkin Glory, okay, like it just said. 
Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can go out here and see what happens. Oh, what's this? Wait. Oh, find the crash. Okay. So we have to get down somehow. No, okay, we don't go that way. Let me out, let me out, let me out! It's funny how every time I forget I've got that pixie in a jar. <laughs> it reminds me. <laughs> these beautiful tiles I'm so pleased that we came here oh an enchanted What's door inside? indolence breeds madness well there's somebody in there guardian of faith repositioning Kind of inclined to take a rest. Assume nothing. Has she got her die back? Oh, she does have her Looking dice ahead. back. That's fine. How delicious. Yeah. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Blood. We're fine. No. Never mind. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Job. <gasps> Crumbling wall is immune to slashing. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. A silence to the wall. Don't touch me. Mate, can Starion do this faster? <laughs> yep. Good job, mate. Things have stayed interesting. Oh, we can steal shit. Time to press ahead. A guardian of faith spell. It's a remarkably long-lasting one at that. Oh. High defense. Mate, too easy. Time to kill. Can he get through the door? Yes, of course you can. Provokes opportunity. Attack of opportunity. That's interesting. Huh. That doesn't. What about with Lazel? Fury. I am death. Okay, so if we attack him in melee, he's going to attack us back. But if we do it ranged, he won't. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, missed. Jeez. Lazelle. Missed again? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's have a little look at this guy. Oh, he's cool. Look how cool he looks. I do like. He's got no resistances. 20 AC. Okay. Hungry for the slaughter. Let's just see, Astarian. Can you get some damage on this guy? Okay, so Astarian's our main man, basically, is what the game is telling me. <laughs> Time 
time to move. Blood comes easy these days. Mate, yeah, okay. What should I do? Shadow Heart, you just do what you do best, girlfriend. And just... <laughs> Alright, let's hit him with a bit of this sacred flame. See if that'll do something. Oh, yeah. We good. Oh, I could have cantripped him. Doesn't really matter. Wait, why can't you... Oh, it's because I hadn't ended the turn. Uh, hello? <laughs> Did he just pace out? I'm right, I mean, whatever. What a day. Gosh, what if I had taken him out? Oh, ceremonial battle axe. Oh, do we oh, have no. to? Wait, where's Lysel? There we go. And let's get the table. Let's uh, get whatever else is in the way. <laughs> So that um, key we picked up didn't make a difference. I know I don't necessarily need to open this door, but I just wanted to out of curiosity. What happens if we walk through the door? Nothing. Hmm, okay, that's weird. Let's head outside. Oh, that's, oh, that's yet another route down here. Where do I go? I think I have to go down, but how do I go down? I was going here. Oh, this way. Okay. You know what, Shadowheart, you might be right. Maybe we should rest. Never a dull moment. This is a pretty campsite. Have we had this one yet? I don't know. Very well. Stand your ground! Keep Ooh. them busy! What's that? The thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. Oh my gosh. Talking statues are never a good sign. We have to fire the lance. Look at the lighting in this place. Holy shit. So great. A long winded introduction explains the Haskin something notes published as in for their work. Um, do they have helped to bring alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history of the Dragonborn, who had been descaled as a teenager and started their alchemical research in hopes of restoring their hide. I decided I shall make all my notes, both these written and still to come, available to those who wish to study. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an, ex an extract excellent. Inventory of offerings. Looks like people gave a lot of stuff. Oh, look, these are the kitchens. Sweet. 
nothing over there. Waiting. I crave blood. Yes, I know, Lazel. <laughs> She's so funny. Securing. Oh my gosh, is this almost it? we got god we must be getting there soon surely it's going to be very good when i actually get into this crash honestly oh what's that <laughs> maybe this is the reason why i can't get into the crash because at every turn i'm like oh what's that watch your back let's crack it oh there's a lever While my eyes remain unscorched, we have made great progress in finding his lost blood. After many suns of searching, I pen this entry as our gaze lies upon a Sharon outpost nestled among the valleys of the Chionothar. We know the Sharons hold the blood. They dropped a cargo trunk during transport one eve, and its lid slipped open. Twas only a moment, but my, sh uh, my shining adherence what a moment it was, the entire riverbank aflame with a soothing radiance, the same rosy light of a summer dawn. I could practically hear his morning song bouncing between the valley walls. We advance upon those heretic nightbringers at the first light of dawn tomorrow and shall leave naught but ashes in our wake. Let's hope for it sounds like they're making a weapon that's the fire of the sun i don't know Dread uh, that's what it sounds like to me like are they going to concentrate it with mirrors and stuff maybe or like Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, pick it up. Don't use it. <laughs> His radiance has faded from our unworthy gazes. O ye lightless wretches, we have failed the morning lord. And I record that failing in the pages of this tomb. To think he once stood on our imperfect world among us imperfect mortals and felled the villain semester with his holy brilliance. He bled for us brethren. He bled for us brethren, sorry. <laughs> we were tasked with look, locking our gazes eternally upon his blood. I'm just not sure about the blood that they're talking about though. We let those gazes falter and the blood was taken, wretched from our sight. It is a test, one that this chapel is duty bound to undertake. I pass the chosen of this record along to Paladin Vasaid, chosen in light to find the relic. Paladin, when you lo uh, look up upon the blood, I pray Lathanda honors your deeds by burning out your eyes. My god. It's a little intense. <laughs> Enhanced security, hey? Oh, that's the one I couldn't get through originally. Gotcha. Oh, so this is the start of the monastery. Okay, we got the kitchens that way. A log of visitors. This stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the common tongue. 
It is an inventory of items taken by the Githyanki from the Lethandi Lethandarian monks upon their initial takeover of the monastery and the subsequent shipment of major valuables back to Tunarath. Can I take that? No, I can't take it. Okay. So the Githyanki... Okay, so the Lethandians or whatever, they were against the Sharon, so it's like... Something sunlight there. versus the darkness. And then the Githyanki came in anyway, so... I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Is this from the... All these skeletons from the Githyanki or from the... The Sharon like war. I don't know. Okay. I don't know about bringing Shadowheart in here either. No one stopped me <laughs> She's got that artifact. Because oh my god, I'm kind of nervous. I've got a long road ahead. Oh my god, now I'm really nervous. I I fear blackest gaze. <laughs> Actually. Sentries to arms. Oh. Stick. State your purpose quickly. Uh oh. <laughs> Stand down, Gish. Is it not Vlacket's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? Luckily, we've got <laughs> Lazel with us. Allow Lazel to answer. I have the weapon Voss was looking for. That your crush wanted? <gasps> no! Oh my god, so you can go complete fucking asshole. You'll really fuck up Shadowheart, won't ya? I was inflict infected by uh, the tadpole. Let me pass. You githyanki hate Illithid. I have proof that you're invading. Uh, that they're invading, sorry. <laughs> I'm an unmatched killer. My purpose is to re reap death upon you. I'm going to let Lazelle answer. We seek the Zathisk. Show me the way. You are infected. A gate thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacket's protocol. Chuk. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once and step carefully. Crescia like watches you. Ooh. Any word on the search for the artifacts, Rastiel? I just Those words are food for gay spies. You should know better. Do I actually yeah. want to we get rid of this though? Like I've really heavily invested in It is an honor. I would be more concerned than excited. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. Oh, let's <sighs> talk to them. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But, but you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Oh my gosh, Tell I'm well. sorry. <laughs> the Inquisition had more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. That's probably true. And I'm not here to harm you either. Can you tell me more? Inquisition, what are you talking about? I'm not here to harm you. See? <sighs> I told you. Nothing to worry about. Oh, these are She's nice ones. Through those doors. Oh, look at that portrait of Lacketh. We are permitted to walk so freely. Such a lack of discipline would be punished severely in Kalil. 
Walk freely? This place is as tight as a patriarch's purse. You <laughs> should have been disarmed on entry. I'm pleased we weren't, but it's strange. I agree no that. No doubt they oh. found me too intimidating. Lol. Yes, that's what it is, Astarian, for sure. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Vlacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Is it just a signature? <laughs> Inspect it. Draw a new face on the... <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to so badly. I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It did it. No! <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! You take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. <laughs> oh shit! She certainly looks a little less regal now. <laughs> a wretched display. <laughs> I thought you better than such juvenile antics. <laughs> Oh my god, I think this was one of the best parts of the game already. <laughs> what is this? Oh. What's that? <laughs> I need to get rid of it before the Inquisitor sees Get out of here. Get out of here, guys. <laughs> that was fun as fuck. Oh, who's this? Ardent Vrel... Vralslith got these words. <laughs> Chucky, when you have a chance to kill your enemy, you take it. Excuse me. Chucky, we are training to fight Gek. You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them. It's stupid. Orphy, silence. It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? My god, nobody will be left. I'd bring him to the edge of death, leave him asking why he deserved to live, stand back and relish the blood uh, the blood show. Killing your own soldiers is an odd strategy for winning a war. No, this is too far. He's learned his lesson. I'm just going to stand back. I mean... Who am I to question the Githyanki way? I've been practicing every night, Savash. Let me have a go. I... I refuse. There has to be a better way. Mate, you're going to die. <gasps> you dropped your guard on your weak side and were completely open to an offhand counter. Move him out of the way. We've wasted enough time already. Right. Brutal. You are well on your way to being gay food. Oh, what's Do this? Better. Oh. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> Aw. Strike hard. Slice flesh. No hesitation. Should I talk to this guy again? Did you enjoy our little demonstration? A mere taste of the power Vlacketh commands. If that boy was a taste of Vlacka's power, I don't have much to worry about. <laughs> Your lessons are reprehensible. I'm curious, why make them fight to the death? Why was the boy refusing to fight? Uh, why make them fight to the death? Our wars are waged against Gake, not bandits and petty thieves. The slightest mistake, the smallest hesitation, and you die. The warrior next to you dies, a hundred more behind them. So we ensure that in our ranks, there are no mistakes. I wouldn't expect an istic to understand. On this plane, inadequacy is expected. <laughs> right.
Uh, let's go see what Youth Val has on him, I guess. Oh, I could a strange disc. talk to him. Are these Githra? Oh, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, Part 2, Sacrifice. The dis... Oh, uh, the Prince of Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bestowed their righteous anger and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to his hell to the hells by the renegade Vlakith. But the true heir, the prince of Comet, could not overcome Vlakith's knights and their ill-gotten worms, mighty Voss, in the astral sky aflame, when the ash had cleared, the beloved Orpheus was gone. C Astarian, can you talk to him? <laughs> Mate, Astarian looks so hot doing this. <laughs> lifelessly. Who are you? What happened to you? Why didn't you fight back? Why were you carrying this book? Orpheus. Inspiration gives me hope. Who is Orpheus? Lost Prince, son of Gith, forbidden. Oh, okay. Why is he, oh why is he forbidden? Blackith threatens, punishes. Yeah, but why? Do others here believe in Orpheus? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Okay, how many questions do we have left? Maybe one? How did you find out about Orpheus? Oh. Voss's warriors hidden inside. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Mm. Flash flash. No Watch your back. Very interesting. Yeah, who's this person? Unless you want to be set up as target practice. I suggest you leave, Istic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no hesitation. Can I read these books? This one I can. Mind Flayer Anatomy. Mercy is death. Death is mercy. This is Blackith's will. Okay. Well, I guess we get out of this bit then. Where do we go? Just continue going round? Oh, waypoint. Awesome. Let's go sell some stuff and come back. Greetings. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. Hmm, that's the interesting. The people themselves called the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Oh. <laughs> For what reason? Rage entertainment? That's incredible. I have no doubt they deserved it. Of course. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Hmm. 
Oh, I'll ask her about the disc from the crash. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tissue markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but there's a common speech translation beneath, carved in a different hand. It's a story about... about Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Oh. Tirsu, you said. What does that mean? Who's Orpheus? Go on. Uh, you look uneasy. Are you all right? I am fine. The slate is not. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Oh. You'll be fine. Uh, that's fine. I'll read it on my own time. Turn no, tell me what it says, please. Very well. I will read it to you. The Prince of the Comet, Part 2. The Prince of the Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, Where do we read this? the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Flacketh. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Voss, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. True heir, glorious prince, chuk. There's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. Disregard this this drivel. Gith declared that Vlacketh should be queen. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Gith. Hmm. And if it's true, it sounds like Vlacketh betrayed Gith and seized the throne. The story reeks of propaganda and attempt to foment discontent. Why are you so worked up? It's only a story. Let's, uh, let's just say it sounds like propaganda. And so it is. A fabrication. A clever one, too, to masquerade as an ancient history. How many such stories could there be? And how many minds have been warped by them? Have you... Oh, okay. Brilliant. Which way do we go? So we've been to the classroom. Let's go this way to raid us. Whatever, whatever. These boots have seen everything. An Istic allowed to soil our halls. Chick. Oh. An Istic allowed to <laughs> raid some of your wares too. Oh. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying <gasps> to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. Wait. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us. Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. It's right in this room. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. <laughs> Ooh. Portal. Wait, where are you all going? I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> I'm gonna see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where are you going? 
I wasn't much better than the current stock when I was a yank. Right. Oh, they're just leaving. My life is infinitely better here watching this backdoor. To the cliffside. Uh, let's just take a little look and we can always come back. Let's see what this does. Oh my god, they've literally gone to nowhere? I wonder if we can jump up there. Oh, look at those vines. Where does that lead to? Hmm. Where does that lead to? We're here now. Can everyone get across? We can. Nice one. Ooh, what is here? An elegant chest. Oh. <laughs> Something good here, I hope. Oh, there's more we can jump to. Gosh, where does this lead? If it doesn't lead anywhere, that's okay, because we can just um, come back to that waypoint. Where are we? Oh, no way. Oh, so you can, like, climb down here and enter via that door? Okay. Well, that's good to know. I think we were going this way first, weren't we? quarters so that's where they've gone to through that little mirror thing oh there's another disc be aware cultists may be captured on site let's talk to this person first I'm not here speak to the captain See how well she handles this. Oh, there's a lot of descent in the ranks, I can see. Oh, insert a charm. I have no idea. We can't do that one. Obviously, need to. Whoa! Shadow heart, don't get scared. Oh, <laughs> she saved it. <laughs> nice one. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Do we? Don't tell her anything. Oh, what the hell is going on? So I can tell her that I have... Because Shadow Heart's got it on her. Oh my god, well, I'm so conflicted. Mate, there's so many ways that you can play this game. This is incredible. I think I have what you're looking for. I was granted entry by your sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. Did they? I thought I heard that off the little kids. I could be wrong. I need a description of the weapon you seek. I was told to seek your infirmary. There's a mind flayer invasion in progress. Why is that not your priority? Sure, I have a weapon. Want to see your blood on it? Um, what's the weapon you seek? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tirsu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You sense Shadow Heart's worry. <laughs> This weapon sounds like the artifact you carry. Duh. What was that look? 
You know something. Oh shit. Do you have it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> if we fail a deception check, we're gonna absolutely just. Oh no. I have what you're looking for. We could completely fuck up the crash. Um. No, I don't have any. I don't have it. All we need is 16. Oh, phew. Oh my gosh. Then stop wasting <sighs> my time, Istik. Oh god, look, the wolves are angry. <laughs> you are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? What's the reward again? <laughs> A fortune in gold, vouched for by our queen herself. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Right. Something's on my mind. Such a small bark for a big doggy. Let's have a look. <laughs> just be like, excuse me, just looting while you're eating them. Right, so I can tell her that I have the weapon. I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty-handed. So, give me the weapon <laughs> now. Uh oh. <laughs> sure, I have the. <laughs> I'm not found it yet, but I'm close. <laughs> Time is finite. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> So what have I got to do? I can either, I can give them the weapon. Um, I don't want to give the weapon away because I don't want, I don't know. I, I will shadow heart just completely go absolutely troppo. If I do that, I think that she should. I can go down this way. I have, let's go the other way. Oh, no, hang on. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, oh, that's through the portal. Sorry, no, I'm not lost. That's fine. Let's see what's happening in here. We'll talk to some of these guys. The captain has little patience for your kind. All right, fine. Ugh, blood, rust, scar. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? <laughs> I've heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. There must be something worthwhile on this plane, or your kind wouldn't be here. Oh, care to trade? I guarantee all my stuff's spotless. Let's do this first. Most metals here fold like istics, much like istics themselves. If you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. Oh, did I just fuck that up? <laughs> oh, I get a minus 32%. That's cool though. <gasps> Knife of the Undermountain King? A short sword. When you attack by one this second. Oh who can use that? Someone there. No way. Let's try it. How much oh wait, how much is it? <laughs> oh, nine hundred. Let's buy that. Uh, what else do we got? We've got a flail. What's this? A pike. This weapon is invisible while equipped. It loses this property for two rounds on a missed attack. What does that mean? This weapon is invisible when equipped. It loses, yeah, all right. Invisible. 
Affected entity can't be disarmed. It has advantage on attack rolls. It scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. Oh, a pike. Ooh. Action, not reaction. No. What's next, I wonder? What's she got? She's got a glaive. I don't really use... No, I think we're good. What is this, though? Gloves of Dexterity. Set the wearer's Dexterity score to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their Dexterity score is higher without it. What's your Dexterity score? I don't know, but I'm going to buy them. <laughs> On your way, then. Dude, that was cool. Well, hello. Well, let's see, Astarian. Um... Where's that? Wait, where is that? No one back home will ever believe this. Watch your back. <sighs> Knife of the Undermountain King. Seven to twelve. Let's put that there. What does that do? Eight to thirteen. Two to seven. The attack inflicts bleeding. That's on the offhand. You have advantage on attack rolls. Um, should I try? I'm going to try it in this configuration, and I'll hit with the, in the offhand. Yeah, let's just see how that works. Oh yeah, what's his dexterity? Close. Oh, his dexterity is 20 already. Oh shit. Can't afford to stay idle. Eager for battle. Still alive. What have you got? So that's progress. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance. I think you should wear the dexterity up to 18. Yeah, because dexterity is quite useful. Oh my gosh, very exciting. So am I thinking that the game is sort of pushing me to give the Githyanki the artifact? We have not been visited by an inquisitor in oh, an age. Oh, oh. It is an honor. The inquisitor. Who's the inquisitor? So if I can't go through there, oh, what's up here? Oh, a key. Oh. Uh. Give me. We have not been visited by an inquisitor in an age. It is an honor. No time to rest. No time to dally. No time for dally. We heard you already. Eager for battle. Huh? Okay. No, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. No, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Any 
word on the earth. Loose words are food for gay spies. You should know better. How do I get in here? Forgive me. We have not been visited by an inquisitor in an age. Oh, this is the inquisitor. I would be more concerned than excited. Let's jump down. Can we jump down? Probably open the door, but then I'll get in trouble. Any word on the search for the artifact, Rusty? Loose words are food for gay spies. You should know better. Are the rest coming down or no? We have not been visited by an inquisitor in an age. It is an honor. It won't stop me yet. More concerned than excited. Oh, you know what I could do? That's probably a better idea. Any word on the search for the artifact, Rusty? Loose words are food. Stop meddling where you aren't wanted, Istic. Oh, come on. You may proceed to the crash. I thought I was in the crash. Do they are these doors here? Let's it's see if they're doors. Put my hands on everything. We have not been visited by an inquisitor. On my way. <laughs> that guy's still trying to get that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's in here? Entirely too empty. Hatchery. I expect to see fifteen eggs at the very least. What's that? Strange gas. Why is there acid? Is stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. I thought a hatchery would have more eggs. You could point out the trap. I'd definitely avoid them. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Why are there no more eggs? Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Varsh Koku, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Varsh if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Okay, who's Varsh? We have to do some kind of jumpy thing here, I'm guessing. What's that? Oh, okay. All right. Where to now? Can we go up here? No, no. Oh, we can go up here. That's weird. Oh, dearie me. What you doing, Laser? <laughs> Alright, let's let a starry and go first then. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Several traps by the looks. Oh shit! The egg is stick. It is strictly forbidden. I'm sorry. I love your glasses. <laughs> oh trap! He's standing on it. <laughs> Where's the egg? Oh, there's the egg. Oh, the gift Yankee egg. That lady wanted us to steal this. Let's talk to this guy. Oh no, not him. 
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Smoxy, you talk to him. I need a quick word. This hatchery is a place of solemn duty and care. No one approaches an egg without my permission. Still, I suppose a guest in our creche can be allowed some understanding. What brings you to my hatchery? I've heard you're waiting for one last egg to hatch. I've come here to steal an egg. Um, <laughs> you're waiting for one last egg to hatch. Failure at the first hurdle of existence. Most caretakers would crush it and be done. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. Now leave. Oh dear. Fight with your brothers and sisters. Hmm. I should have shut the door to the room. Let's talk to him again. I don't have time to parent you as well. What do you want now? You're very protective of the egg. Why? I want this egg. How much for it? Let me help. I could take it somewhere safe. <laughs> oh my god, let's try that. Oh, we got it? Are you joking? <gasps> You're just gonna give it to us. You? What do you know about gift Yankee child rearing? Uh so the captain's due for inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. <gasps> tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll raise it as if it were my own flesh and blood. I'll make it the best omelette you've ever tasted. I'll find another crash. One that's more forgiving. Depends how much do you think these things sell for. I'm gonna raise it. That's what I feared. Oh no. Oh no. Still. Oh yeah? I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. <gasps> We're doing it? Very well. Here. <gasps> Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Oh my gosh. Already. It's not even born yet. So what boots did we get? Acidic surfaces don't affect you and your resistance to acid damage. Oh, all right. Uh, put them on, Smoxy. Let's break party. Um, I'm gonna have to go Please this way, actually. My step. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna talk to Lazelle and my party and see what they think about this. We must scout the crash. The purifier, the safest, will be in the infirmary. All right, so we need to find the infirmary after this. A hatchery with a single egg. How much does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. I have never learned, however, of a Vash obsessed with a late egg survival. Mmm. Githyanki look quite humanoid. How did they evolve to lay eggs? Who does the... The laying. I'm curious about the logistics. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Hmm. Okay. How'd they evolve? Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Though it must be said, you are an uncommonly adequate member of your species. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. 
Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Go on then. What about Shadow Heart? May the darkness protect you. May the darkness protect us all, mate. You're carrying that weapon. Hello, my sweet. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit worried about doing this. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. I think because I'm having so much fun in the game, I just don't want it to... I, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to ruin anything completely. Hmm, how do I get there? Please come out. Wait, I can jump into here? Oh wait, no, actually it would be way better to do this this way, I think. Oh, I can move through the water. Reach out and touch the egg. Pick it up gingerly and stow it in your pack. Crush the egg beneath your foot. I'm going to put it in my pack. Is there anything else up here? Oh, somebody, Lazel. She wants to talk to me, but first... Strange gas. I thought uh, the gas was fine. Alright, let's go back to the team. Oh, what's here? Wait, there could, could, good, could be good stuff in here. Oh, yeah, great stuff. <laughs> Damn, I thought they would be good stuff because they were in the acid water. Okay, so we need the infirmary. Let's talk to Lazel first, though, about this egg. An unhatched Githyanki egg should be the burden of a Vash, not a warrior, whether ascended or otherwise. And yet, I'm drawn to the warmth of it. A child of Gith and a servant of Vlakith grows within. Keep it close. Perhaps in our care, it might yet hatch. My and gosh. don't you dare pass it to that lunatic woman prowling the mountain pass. Ooh. <laughs> She's going to be so mad if I do. All right, so there's the hatchery. Classroom, captain's quarters. I need the infirmary. Maybe it's in this other way here. Must be. Let's go. All right, which way do we go now? Back towards the crash. This way, I think. What to do? Yeah, this way. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just still making me laugh. That painting. Oh, this could be the infirmary. Uh, the oh god, the infirmary that we need. Oh, the infirmary. Oh my gosh. Who do we talk to? Where's somebody we can talk to that isn't a blithering idiot? <laughs> I wonder this crash is bunks. What business have you in a crash dormitory, Istik? Move along. Okay, that's not it. Dustal Stornagos employs some intensive methods for a healer. That they let outsiders into the crash sets a bad precedent. 
Okay, I get that everyone doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, so where is the person in charge? Because these kids are just... <laughs> oh, maybe you? I've not met Istik before. Do you all look like that? <laughs> Are you supposed to be here? Maybe I should report you to the Savash. This one's gonna be good. Can... Oh. After Mother Gif freed us from the Illithid bonds, Mother Gif traversed the plains discovering civilizations thriving among the stars. Oh my gosh. They call themselves Gith Zarai. Those who spur are spurned Mother Gith. We call them something, the unforgivable. All right, let's go through this door. Oh, uh, what is this? is this oh my gosh a parasite vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259 oh my god maybe they do know do about it question we're you just going to stand there gawking uh, I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Oh, I'd prefer Lazel to speak on my behalf. What are you hoping to learn from dissecting that thing? Is that... Is that thing's host still alive? I've got a tadpole that needs removing. Can you help me? I think I'm just gonna come out with it. I mean, I could let Lazel speak. I'm just gonna speak true. You must be desperate to seek my aid. Maybe. Tell me, how long have you been infected? A few days. I stopped counting when I ran out of fingers. Longer than you'd expect ceremonial forces to take and with none of the symptoms. Too long, just get rid of the thing. Uh, longer than Ceramorphosis is expected to take. Fascinating. So you're conscious of your infection, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Correct. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. I don't think we are. <laughs> we must find out which. Go to the Sathisk. I will ensure you're cured. <gasps> But then Astarian loses all of his juicy abilities. <laughs> um, and the Zathisk is? What will the Zathisk do? You have my thanks. Uh, and the Zathisk is? The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Oh. Quickly now. Time is of the essence. That thing. Even Githyanki rarely experiences Zathisk. You are very lucky, Istik. Oh my gosh. Am I? Mine fell a parasite. Uh. Oh. Here we go. The doctor's office. Oh God. Here we go. <laughs> the device is strange. Holy shit. Made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. What is that? It waits for something. The Zathisk. Vlakith's purity distilled. My duty. My right. Oh, you want to go first? Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, I could investigate. Can I do that? Oh, let's examine and then I'm going to let Gazelle go first. I almost said Gazelle. <laughs> Come on.
The device is an ingenious synthesis of illithid anatomy and metal alloys. It hums with psionic energy, hinting at paths into unknown minds and unseen planes. Stand aside! My time has come. Yes, it has. Go on. Praise Blackith. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. Oh god, is it gonna decapitate her? That creepy ass beat. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh dear. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Oh. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. Mm. There is no chance she will survive. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, child. Speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. Oh my gosh. Feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Oh my god, get out of there, Lazel. You won't survive the anguish. Call in your parasite. Show Lazel what she stands to lose. Plead with the doctor. Lazel is in great pain. Endure, Lazel. The curse, the cure is worth the torment. I think she would want us to tell her to endure. Uh, oh, the cure. Oh, you share in Lazel's agony. Every cell within her skull bursts into a constellation of fragments, oh. sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die. die if she remains. Shit. Yes, Jamar, Zala, Blackith, call to your queen. Oh no. My queen, hear me. Lazel. That thing's killing her. Your vision narrows. You sense myriad spectres of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Oh my gosh. Oh, seek answers within the Zathisk. What is this vision? You must listen. The device is changing you. You are becoming a lithid. Oh my god, what? <gasps> Keep focus, Lazel. The cure is close. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, that's deception? Why would I deceive her? Let's see if we can get some answers. Oh, I need a 21. Okay, fine. <gasps> Is Lazel dead? Oh, let's see if we can roll again. Come on. Come on. Oh, perfect 20. Oh! Lazel's life is laid bare among those that came before. <gasps> Her thoughts are turned to silver thread and relayed to the astral sea. Oh, God. The voices of the dead cry out as one. The Zathis collects memories from the infected and executes them. Oh my god. It is not for curing. It's for killing. <gasps> Get out! Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this lady too. <laughs> I've seen the truth, Lazel. This device doesn't cure, it kills. Um No, we gotta get her out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh 23. <laughs> I'm so so invested. What? She trusted us? Well, yeah, because we won the roll. <gasps> what are we going to do now? What madness is this? The Zathis can nearly destroyed me. I am Githyanki. I will not be gay. <gasps> My life's work gone. And yet she lives. And so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical <gasps> urge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. The parasite lives, yes, and thank goodness it saved her. 
Your Zethis tried to kill Lazel and failed. You're wrong. Can't you see it in her eyes? The parasite is dead. Let's try a deception. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, the problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. Oh my gosh. No, it can't be. It can't. This was my right. I know, my darling, but it didn't work, honey. Oh, Lazelle. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zethis might have killed me. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. I think it just is because it just wasn't going to work. The Zethis is supposed to kill you. I saw it for myself. Who could have tampered with the device? How about a thank you? I just saved your life. You were so close to a cure, if only you'd held on a little longer. No, it was meant to kill you. This Zaythisk is a deviation. It was altered. There is no other explanation. Okay, maybe the doctor altered no, it. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zaythisk's tampering. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to leave the doctor. Let's see what she has to say, though. Go on. My time is vital. Do not squander it. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's go to wherever it is we need to go to. Talk to the captain. Oh my gosh, that was like... <laughs> I think we all will. Honestly, this game is making me feel like just so invested in everything that's happening. I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty handed. Oh. So, give me the weapon now. Oh, wait, wait, what, uh. I thought I was here to tell her about the... <laughs> I thought I was here to tell her about the freaking Zaythix thing. Wait, can I come back please? Time is fine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um... Oh, the Githyanki warrior. Take Lazelle to the Inquisitor. Yeah, but how the hell do I do that? Um, can I, like, use this portal thing yet? Do I tell this lady I need to get through? If you're not here to help. Um... Oh. What if I told the lady that I had the weapon? Um. Oh, Shadowheart. I don't know. I'm going to tell her I have the weapon. Let's see what I that presume does. I you are not stupid enough to return empty handed. So, I sincerely hope you know what you're doing. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> Give it to me. No. Produce the artifact. No. No. <gasps> Everyone disapproves. Yes. There it is. Exactly as described. The Inquisition will finally come to an end. Oh! Wait, wait. Trickery? Heresy? How oh, that's you... not what they're looking for? You manipulate it when I cannot? Oh, that is what it appears for. you have been chosen, <gasps> Istic. You are lucky. 
It is not for me to question why. Go, seek the Inquisitor below, and take the cursed thing with you. Oh, okay, phew. <laughs> um, cool. Um. The Inquisitor awaits. <gasps> Follow the corridor. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay, so I did need to do that. Oh, thank gosh, because honestly, I was worried. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. It's unnerving. This place makes my skin crawl. I hope, no, expect that Chikrai will aid us. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. Oh my gosh. This is kind of foreboding. You're right, Astarian. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Before we progress, let's have a chat to all our companions about what just happened. Don't know if they have something to say. I'm not surprised that the Gith's insane device didn't remove our temples. I'm just disappointed. Ooh, yes, me too. Well, in a way. So, the Gith Yankee have no cure for our condition. Unless you count death as a cure. I won't pretend to be surprised. Alright, what do you say, Lazel? To the Inquisitor at the crash. The Sathisk's failure must be reported. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Let's go. Oof. Look at these guys. Confiscated book. How far off we leveling? Oh, heaps far. <laughs> My inventory is honestly a shambles. Uh. <gasps> Esteemed guest. Oh! Please approach. What the fuck was that noise? Much to discuss. Is it the doors? <laughs> Sorry, that scared me. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. Chry. Vlakith's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. <laughs> to business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. Ooh. The weapon. <laughs> Give it to me. Um. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. <sighs> do not disobey the Inquisitor. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm not in a romance with Lazo. I'm in a romance with Astarian, and he didn't like the fact that I gave the artifact to the other person. So I guess that's going to kind of sway me. I can give it to you, but you don't, but I don't think you'll like it. <laughs> Produce the artifact. What do I get in return? This weapon, what does it do? Shouldn't you be more concerned with the Mind Flayer invasion? How do you know so much about me? I can't, it protects me. Um, what does it, what does the weapon do? What business is that of yours? Suffice to say my queen wants it. But know that you will have been instrumental in stopping the grand design. Hand it over. Oh, God. What do I get in return? The gay care about to execute their grand design and you seek to bargain. Pahakva. The weapon. Now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have the weapon. I should say that puts me in a stronger position to bargain with you. Is that so? Well, then. Humor me. What would you ask of an inquisitor? I don't know. 
Make your best offer, I accept gold. I could use an ally against the Illithids, as could you. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Ooh, that's not a bad one. I could use an ally against the Illithids. Yeah. If you desire to see the might of my people, you will not be disappointed. Our swords are ready to cleave Geek flesh in their legions, with or without your interference. Give me the weapon. Oh, okay. Now. I should have asked for money. Don't give it to him. <laughs> um, produce the artifact. I won't. No, I won't let you take it. Do not try me. Oh no. Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. Seriously, Lazel? Remember the Zaith? These gifts can't be trusted. Follow my lead. I'll choose the right path. We ca uh, we are keeping the artifact. I'm going to say follow my lead. The Zaith is... It's... It's... I hate that you speak the truth. Yeah, true. Choose. Your path is mine to follow. Yay! Oh, yay! Even though I'm not in a romance with Lazelle, I actually really like her character. I think she's very cool now. I've grown to know her. All right, so we're keeping the artifact. Our fate is forged. Mother Gith, guide us. Oh, Your gosh. Your adventure ends here. Hatasif. Here we go. Crush Yilik with me to the death. Okay, here we go. <laughs> She's got 28. She looks like a caster, possibly a healer. What's this one? 32. Oh, this won't be too bad. 41. 28. All right. I think, why don't I stand... Mm, mm -hmm. What I could do is I could come stand next to this girl. Let Astarian do an attack on her. Take her out. And then we can sort of move back and forth between whoever. Yep, that's my plan. Let's go. I'm going to... Ooh, I could do hypnotic pattern up the stairs. Probably should have thought about that before I moved. So maybe for two turns, no, not Istarian. Those two can't attack. Let's try that. Oh. Great, let's try that one. All right, I'm standing next to you. That's fine. Uh, let's end my turn. I've missed this. <laughs> All right, Istarian, you're gonna move first. You're going to... I don't know if we've got... Yes. Let's take this person out. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, he's got his new blade as well. Okay, cool. And then if we go back offhand, let's go. Okay, she's gone. That's great. She looked like the healer. Um... Astarian coming in close to this guy. Victory awaits. Yes, Lazel, you're going to come and take out this guy. Oh, I should have done the freaking I keep forgetting to do her strength thing. All right, let's not worry about it for now because I want you to bop this guy. Test my fury. Holy hell. <laughs> Perfect. Um, you're going to... A bonus action. Can you... Click your heels and come in close to this guy? Make way. 
We're going to attack this guy. Ooh, we're going to go again. Let's do a lacerate on him just in case. Yeah, great. All right, so he's bleeding. Let's do a normal attack. Oh my God, laser. Beautiful. Let's just stay there for the moment. Mind steal. What's that do? Leeching the psychic energy. Oh. Okay. Shadow heart. I'm just going to spell cast this guy. Or do I bless everyone? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> do I have bless on her? How come I don't have freaking bless on her? That's stupid of me. Actually, if I don't have bless, let's just do a guiding bolt, I reckon. 30% mm, though, maybe not. No, I don't. I can't risk it at thirty percent. Oh, that's thirty percent too. All right, you know what? Let's just do some guidance on Starian. You need to pick me up. And we'll just heal Lazelle a little. Uh, let's move next to this guy. Uh, for a bit of a support for Astarian, maybe? Because those guys are still CC'd. The dance macabre. Like fun. Oh, you missed. Oh my god, honestly. Sometimes the only way out is through. Gosh, it's only thirty. inspire Lazo. I'm going to move up here so that have to keep going. I can support Starion in a second. I'll try the Dissonant Whispers. Why not? Let's try a big one. Let's go hard. Oh, that was awesome. Because my thinking is we can rest after this anyway. Okay, let's go. Oh, only 15%. Oh, seriously? Wow, you're missing all over the shop. Oh, that was a crit, though. Okay, let's move up here. Because the Starion's going to take him out. Keep forgetting to do the precision attack. That's okay. Impressive resistance. Nice. Okay. Can I command him to drop his weapon? Fifty one per cent. Let's go. Oh, he dropped his weapon. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Gith Yankee greatsword. <laughs> that was awesome. Maybe I should have done that a little earlier. Let's have some fun. 
All right, Astarian, let's do this. Don't miss. Yes, all right, let's get some healing. Plus three. <laughs> um, Brills, let's go for the ranged target. Where do I go from here? Let's stand next to the ranged target. My way. And let's maybe frighten them just so they don't move. All right, Lazel's gonna take you out. Ooh, not if she bloody misses, she won't. Jesus, can you please just hit the guy? You know what we'll do? Move over here and we'll push you. And then a starion will be closer and then we can take both of you out. Moving. Beautiful. Nice. Shall we cut and run? Oh my gosh, so bloody good. Ooh, parried. But to keep going. Oh my god, can you please hit the damn thing? Wow. Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are impressed. <gasps> Flacketh? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What the hell? My queen. Shkalzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. Oh my gosh. You will obey. Um, well, we're going full on absolute. Wave politely, kneel, stay standing exactly as you are. Who exactly are you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh dear. I am Vlachith, undying <laughs> queen of the noble Gith. Yankee. Oh, she didn't like that. <laughs> God Regent of the Six Arms of Tonara. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your choice of allies is most vexing. They do not become you, Lazel. Chmar Zala Vlaketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalir speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? Okay, there's something really wrong with the graphics. <laughs> I didn't take the weapon from you, but I am returning it. Oh, I'm the hero who found your weapon. Neither, it's mine by rights. I'm the hero. Your utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. A test, then, to see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon you carry, the astral prison. It is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken. A blight 
They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Enlithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this, and ascend! Ascension? My queen. An honor gained. A burden born. Choose. But know this, the cost of refusal is great. Not merely great, Lazel. Eternal. I can't do that. The person inside protects me from the absolute. I will do as you wish. No, I am not doing the Githyanki Queen's bidding. Can't you kill them yourself? I thought gods were all powerful. I will do as you wish. Use the Planecaster's power to enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. You will not leave this room until it is done. Barn us in. I'll each step with purpose. Blacketh has spoken. Do not leave this room except to enter the prism. Turn your back on me, and you will feel my blade against it. Hmm. Apologies, folks. The next cutscene, um... <laughs> the graphics were having a little bit of an issue, so apologies, but I'm going to let it play anyway. Okay, so let's let's um assume nothing. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. I better get all my action, not If I don't have all my stuff from Lazel, does that mean that she could possibly just leave? I wonder what the next move is. Don't touch me. Let's get a starry and delete these bodies. Let's see what this guy oh we can talk to him let's do it seems willing to speak but not to its killer all right bugger oh well I guess it was kind of to be <gasps> what do we got oh my god potion of angelic slumber drink to fall into a two-turn slumber unless interrupted you gain the benefits of a long rest Oh my gosh. Boiled Beholder Eye Stalks. Circlet of Psychonic Revenge. When you succeed a saving throw, the foe that causes the throw takes psychic damage. Githyanki also gain a one plus bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. What is Lazel wearing? Not reaction. During combat, when the wearer stats a star said turn with 50% hit points or less they gain wrath well why don't I just give why don't I just give that one to Lazel what does that look like well that's cute she can wear that careful I might Okay, uh, what else? This lady. I wonder. Ooh, what she got? Diadem of Arcane Synergy. When you inflict a condition, gain Arcane Synergy. What's Arcane Synergy? Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected entity spell casting ability modifier. Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected entities. Oh. Let's give that to Lazel. 
Uh, wait, sell fucking Astarian. Let's try it. What does it look like? Oh, it's pretty too. She's got that one. My mind. And well, in it. Hit points. Okay. How delicious. One step at a time. Let's see if we can loot these chests and then. Go and do the absolute spitting. Can't leave this room. Well, where would I go? I mean, it's not like I can actually go anywhere. I can't fast travel, so maybe just leave the doors. Is that what it meant? Like, literally walk out the door. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Oh. The statue starts to rotate. This rusty mechanism jams stuck. Oh! What's next? The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. What about the base? Can the statue no. starts to rotate, but its rusty hmm. mechanism jams stuck. What about you? I crave blood. The statue starts to rotate. Damn it. But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Okay, this is the last one. The statue Everything starts to rotate. Shot. All right. But its rusty like mechanism this. jams stuck. What's hiding here? Lavanda blesses the rising bountiful sun. Oh. What does that do? Can I now move this one? The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Okay, guess we're not doing that one. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Here we go. Don't do it. I don't want to, but I feel like I have to. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. Oh god. Gosh, does this mean I'll never see my dream daddy visitor? Oh, where are we? Well, here's your war in the space, Lisa. <laughs> force is small but unmistakable. This must be a pocket of the astral plane. This looks awesome. Boundless, timeless, like every dream that ever was stitched together. It's just home. I'll kill you so badly! <laughs> oh, I've still got that fairy. Astral gravity. Gravity on the astral plane is different from Faerun. The affected entity is immune to falling damage and its jump distance is tripled. Boy, oh boy, let's, uh, let's go, I guess. Mm. 
Oh dear. Oh. Better that will fit in my pack. Okay, hang on. So we can go this way. What about this way? A beckoning cave. Find the being in the astral prism. Okay, I reckon this episode has just gone long enough, so my name's Smox from Celebrant Quest. I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join me next episode where we go through to the cave and I don't know what we're going to find. Hopefully we don't get rid of Daddy Dream Visitor because I quite like him. But thank you so much, guys. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.